I'm about to do something you should never do. Buy Pokemon card collections without even looking. We've done this before and we've been pleasantly surprised. That is sick. Look at this collection right here. That's dope. And also pleasantly disappointed. Star use. Oh my gosh, no. Why are there so many Starmies? And today we're purchasing three vintage Pokemon card collections on a website that I've never purchased from before, Murica. I mean, Makari, yeah, Makari. We're gonna buy one for $200, another one for $600, and another one for $800. We're gonna compare and contrast and see what we get. This is definitely risky, so don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> All right, we got for $199 Pokemon Cards Vintage Rare Collection Lot Binder Hollow Watsy 1999 era. I'm only gonna look at the first image. Boom! I can see some hollows, a Dark Gyarados from Team Rocket, Needle King, there's a Chansey up there. That's awesome. Hopefully we got some good stuff behind it. I'm not gonna look at the other images. Which collection do you think is gonna perform better? This one, the $600 one, or the $800 one? You might think that the more expensive one would, but in the last video that we did with Mystery Collections, actually the cheaper binder was the better binder. So that's kind of the mystery that we have here. It's fun, but also risky. Let's pick this up, $199. Fingers crossed, let's hope this is a good one. Bye now. We got the $200 binder right here in this box. It looks like it's wrapped in like saran wrap. Look at that. This looks like it was preserved, like mummified or about to go in like the microwave or something. But anyway, where do I, how do I, where do I begin with this thing? Wow, that's a lot of uh, saran wrap. All right, we got it off. That's a lot of Saran Wrap. And we're looking at a not Pokemon themed binder. This looks like it's just from a store. We saw the first page on the image, so let's take a look at those cards right now. Ooh, okay. There are the hollows that we saw. We see the Chansey hollow up here, the Needle King, the Vaporeon, Dark Gyarados. That's a non hollow, but that is from Team Rocket. You promo. Okay, let's take a look at some of the condition of these. Vaporeon, I absolutely love this card from Jungle. Uh, this is unlimited, but I can definitely see some scuffing and scratching there. And let's turn this around. Ooh, a huge crease right there. This person's definitely practicing bad binder behavior. The binder and no sleeves here, not really giving your cards the best condition to live in if they're gonna be stored for a while. Let's uh, take a look at this Chansey. Chansey is one of the hardest hollows to grade from all of the sets, evolutions, uh, base set, first edition, of course. This one definitely looks scratched up. And if I turn it around, definitely creases up there. So that's that's not so great. We do get a Gengar, which I love from Fossil. And a lot of these other cards are looking really good at base set too. Genghis Khan. Ooh, okay, this is new. We do see a great series of Charmanders here from Team Rocket. And of course, base set. Pikachu from Jungle. Another Pikachu from Jungle there. Some E-Series cards. non hollow though. Goldeen. A nice looking Eevee there. Let's take a look at the condition of the Eevee. Definitely some nasty stains over there. And and ooh, okay, this is definitely uh, somebody who wasn't really taking great care of their cards. Maybe they played with these cards when they were a kid and, and just wanted to store them. I don't know, but you know, I'm not seeing anything super great here on the other end of the binder. Let's keep going here. All right, yep, some commons and uncommons here. Bell Sprouts, Q, Geodude, Grimer, Persian, Meowth, Mankey, Oddish, and the last page here, Krabby, Psyduck. Um, yeah, okay. That's for $200, uh, not really the best, but it's still nice to get some old vintage cards. I'm just gonna say that all of these cards are definitely gonna be given away. We give away the collections that we buy here on streams every single Monday. And that's the beauty of this. If I don't see any cards that I wanna pick up for my own collection, you get the rest. Now make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those live streams, but let's go see what other binders we can find. <laughs> All right, we're jumping from $200 to $600 now in this binder. Pokemon Giant Old Binder Collection Hollows E-Series First Edition Shadowless. Ooh, First Edition Shadowless. I can already see some stuff here. I see a Zapdos from First Edition, Poliwag from First Edition, Cloyster Hollow from an E-Series set. This is looking really promising. Hopefully we get more value than what we did in the $200 binder. It says new updated one hour ago. This might be the opportunity of a lifetime right here at this price. $600, ooh, okay, let's buy now. Binder number two, this one is three times the price as the last one at $600 and it's coming in a weird sort of like, I don't know why it's taped like that. Handle with care fragile. Yo, we got, we have a Pokemon binder, which looks really cool. It is an old school binder. Look at that, it looks like, like a Game Boy, right? Pikachu on the front, Meowth in the back, and I see some cards falling out, uh-oh. Bad binder behavior. But anyway, let's flip this over and see what we get. Okay. Um. <laughs> Cards spilling out. Definitely wish these were in, in sleeves. But we got a Torkoal from an E-Series set. We have a Machop 
from a, I believe that's a Neo set. We have a Cloister Hollow. That's looking really cool. What's the condition on this Cloister? Not too terrible, but okay. We have a Cubone. I love this artwork. He's juggling bones. Whose bones? Is this mom's bones? No, okay. A Larvitar, that's looking really cute. And a Dragonair, an E-Series Dragonair. That looks really epic. Actually, I haven't seen this one before. Love always come through that cloud of, or, or dust there. Okay, we got a Hitmonchan Hollow up here. I'm gonna take this out because this is the first Hollow that we see here in the binder. Nice, huge print line there. I like this Typhlosion from an E-Series set here. That's looking really cool. This is a Zapdos. I thought this was a Hollow, but it's not. But it is a first edition Fossil Zapdos, which is really cool. And a first edition Poliwag. And then a Salamance here. Is that a sticker? Oh, it is a sticker, but it's, I can't take it. Ooh, okay. We definitely have a lot more valuable stuff in here, it looks like already. We have a Magneton from Base Set Unlimited, as you can see. We have a back of a Pokemon card. Let's see what this is. A Horsey from Fossil. Clefable from Base Set 2. This Hollow actually looks really nice. Ooh, okay. That's the best condition Hollow that we've had so far. A little whitening on the upper left-hand corner, but not bad. I will sleeve all of these things up later for sure. Firo from Jungle, an Oddish Zubat, a Doduo, and a Grimer from Fossil. And I do see some beautiful cards. A Blaine's Arcanine Hollow. That's looking real nice. An Ampharos from an E-Series set. A Dark Ammonite. Up here we have a Light Vaporeon, Spinarak, and a Forbitress. But let's look at this Blaine's Arcanine real quick because this is a beautiful looking hollow. I actually have not held this hollow before, which is really cool. Actually, probably the best condition. I have to sleeve this right now because I just, we got to take care of these cards. So Blaine's Arcanine, that looks really good in the deep pocket monster sleeve. Let's go over here to the right-hand side of Teddy Ursa, Cadaver. I love to see these E-Series cards. We don't see these very often. The packs are very expensive for them. And, ooh, okay, we have a Pikachu from Fossil, the Eevee from, or excuse me, that's Jungle. So we have a Pikachu from Jungle, an Eevee from Jungle. That's pretty good as well. We have a Clefairy Hollow, another one. Okay, much, much better on that one. We're gonna sleeve that up right now so we don't take any chances. See Kadabra from Unlimited, a Mew promo, Blackstar promo, and Ekans. All right, let's keep going. And we got more cards that are coming out. Ooh. All right, we're, we're getting into some even better stuff here for sure. Up here, we have the Hitmon Lee, the Dark Ariados, the Energy Stadium, the A Palm. That's a cool card from First Edition Neo. A Fan P, some unknowns. We always seem to get unknowns, which is kind of cool. And on this side, some hollows. We have a hollow vile plume here from Jones. I just gotta, I gotta keep sleeping these up. I just cannot, in good conscience, put them back in. We got a Hitmonchan here from Unlimited. That looks really good. Not as great condition, but we're gonna sleeve them up anyway. Now check this out. We have Manectric, an Arceus, and an Arceus, and an Arceus, and an Arceus. So these are from Arceus set from Heart Gold, Soul Silver. These are beautiful cards. Look at that. We got the Leaf Energy Arceus. We have the Fighting Energy, the Fire Energy, and the Metal Energy Arceus's. That's really cool. Is it Arceus's or Arceus I? Probably not CSI. That's Crime Scene Investigators. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, we do see up here, I almost missed it, a Cubone. This is a reverse hollow Cubone from EX Delta Species. Moving on, we got, ooh, ooh, Dialga. We have a Dialga, I love it. A Celebi Prime. Yo, this is my first Prime. I don't have any primes yet. We got a Celebi prime with a prime crease down the middle there. Look at that, that's not good. Well, my first prime has a crease in it. That's okay. We're gonna put them back. We have some hollows up here, a crocodile, a slacking, dusk noir, wing clang, extra drill, the Dialga, level X. That's pretty cool. See, that's what Dialga should look like. Not the giant chicken nugget looking one from sets that we just saw, Astral Radiance. We got the Mewtwo EX down there. On this side, we have a bunch of blue cards. Look at these. Seismitoad, an Infrape, Magnezone, Kyrem, Beartick, Snorlax. Look at that Snorlax, that looks really cool. All right, let's keep going here. Almost at the end of the binder now, but I still see some good cards coming in. Beedrill, we have an energy card. Not a binder full of energies, thankfully, but a nice looking hollow energy there. We have an unlimited Charmeleon, an unlimited Charmander. It's really cool hollow energy. Sabrina's Haunter, Chansey here from, I don't know what set that's from. That's kind of cool though. What is this? It's Shuppet Hollow. That looks really cool. Yeah, what's with the creases, yo? crease down there why Ooh, okay i'm seeing some cards i like here dark blastoise from team rocket that's a non-hollow a charmander from team rocket and this beautiful dragonite promo i love this wb promo i've seen this before we've given this away before 
That looks really, really cool. I'm gonna sleeve that up because that is a hot card for sure. Let's keep the party rolling. Not bad. We This is a full, okay, there's nothing on that page, but I do see right here, extra page, smiley face. Cool, thank you for the extra page. I appreciate that. We got some uh, nice looking cards here. Another unknown there, no hollows here, but that's okay. What is this one here? Mime Jr. Wow, I haven't seen this one before. He's actually pretty cute. A lot less scary than Mr. Mime. Another extra page. This side, nice Steelix, Caterpie, Zigzagoon. Ooh, look at that Growlithe. That artwork is really nice. All right, this seems to be the last page coming up. Another extra page. I see a 25th anniversary Zacian in there. That's sort of random. I do see a Dragonite though. Where's this coming in from? Evolutions, I think. Full Art Dragonite EX. A nice gold card right there. Not bad. Not bad. Nice to have some extra cards that we didn't even know were going to be in here. Zekrom Koga's Pidgey. First edition. Nice. Okay. I'm kind of okay with that. Some cards that were just spilled out of here, but you know, this pile here is definitely way more valuable than the higher last binder that we saw. I love those Arceus's. Some nice looking hollows in there. Look at that Blaine's Arcanine. I think that's my favorite one from here. All right, so that was a super fun binder, but let's go for one more. Woo, okay, now we're jumping from $600 to $800. Is this one gonna be better than the last one? Well, we're about to see Pokemon Old Binder Collection Charizard Hollows E-Series First Edition Shadowless. This looks eerily similar as far as the title to the last one, let me see. This is the same seller. Found part two of my original collection. You get all the cards pictured and the binder as well. Okay, and as we can see here, I do see a hollow Charizard right there in the middle. Mm. I mean, I don't know what the condition's gonna be. I'm not going to look at the rest of the cards, but this is $200 more than the last one. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're going to pick it up. Here we go. Boom. Binder number three is with us here. I hope there is a lot of value in here. That last binder was pretty decent, but let's go in here and see what we get. Ooh, look at that. We got a Mew. This one's a little heavier. But let's open this up. Okay. We have... The Mew Binder. I don't see any cards hanging off like the last one, so that's a good sign. Let's clean this up a little bit because this could be a special moment or it could absolutely be just an absolute dud. Here we go. First page of the $800 binder. Three, two, one. Look at that. Yes, we have a Charizard right there. It's Mac Dab in the middle. We have a first edition Staryu, a Pikachu, Yellow Cheeks Pikachu there from Unlimited, a Mewtwo Hollow from Unlimited, a Ninetales Hollow. Again, we all saw this in the image, but we got to check out that Charizard. We got to check out that Charizard. We got to. Oh no. Why is it like that? It looks like it's sort of waterlogged or something like that. No. Oh no. Oh no, we have a Charizard. I wonder what we would get if we submitted this to PSA. I wonder if I could put this in a book to straighten it out. But it's cool to see a hollow Charizard in our hands, which is really nice. I have one already, uh, already graded, so we're probably gonna give this away, but still a nice pickup, but I just, obviously in an image, you cannot see if it's bent or not like that. And we only saw the first page of the binder, so I don't know what else is in here other than what we already see here on this first page. So let's check out some of these other hollows. A Mewtwo hollow from Unlimited, as you can see, and the condition of that is just not so great either. But if you were gonna grade these, these are definitely not gradable. I have already gotten grades back from some of the collections that we have already purchased, and some of those grades were really, really good, especially that Pikachu binder that we got from a while back. Those cards are really, really good condition. These ones, so far, not so much. Let's flip to the next page. We have a lot of pages to get through, although I'm looking here and I see a lot of empty pages in the back. Are you kidding me? Although I do see some shine. Okay, let's keep going. I have high hopes. Here we go. Okay, over here on the left-hand side, we have, is that a hollow dark wheezing? That is not a hollow dark wheezing, Croconaw. A Pikachu, always good to see the Pikachus coming in from those older sets. Erica's Clefairy, Articuno, that's a promo actually. Giovanni, Giovanni's Last Resort, are those hollows? That's not hollow. Uh, that's that's not a hollow. That's okay. We still got more. On the right hand side here, we got Primeape and a Butterfree, Erica's Execute, Koga's Coughing, Togepi, Brock's Primeape, Doug Trio, Grand Bull. All right, let's keep flipping here. Next page. Okay, okay. I like these cards. We got a Dark Blastoise. We saw that in the last one. We do see, wow, is this a hollow? Okay. First edition, Hengis Khan. 
from Jungle is a great, great pickup right here. This is awesome. The hollow is looking, you know, a little scratched up, but this is a great pull right here. First edition anything, especially one of the bangers like this one is always good to have. The condition's not... Okay, don't look at the bottom left. But other than that, the condition's not terrible. That is a great pickup. My favorite so far of this, other than the Charizard, or as I should say, the Water Charizard, Water Logdazard. We have a Dark Blastoise from Team Rocket, Mew promo up there. First edition Dark War Turtle. Those are always nice to see. And a first edition Squirtle here, again, practicing bad binder behavior. Yo, you gotta sleeve up your cards, All right? Not too terrible, not too terrible. Boom, we have some hollows. Actually, a Rocket Snorlax, Weezing, a Machamp, Bulbasaur, that's really cute from an E-Series set, Poliwag, Poliwhirl. All right, let's plow through. Ooh, okay, okay. Yo, this is a sick card right here. Electabuzz EX. EX cards are great pulls. I pulled a Lapras EX at one point, which was really nice, and a Gyarados EX. We have an Electabuzz EX. The condition's looking good on the front and not too bad on the back either. I would say probably a PSA 7 or 8 at best, but still great to see a banger card like that. Ooh, a Dark Feraligator. Is that hollow too? Yo, that's a really great pull. The Togi hollow from Japan. That's the first Japanese card that we got with a nice little swirl on his foot. Condition on this is definitely better. Nice looking Vulpix down there. We got a Blissey over here, a Loudred, Vileplume, Lapras, a Magnezone, Typhlosion. That's a cool looking Typhlosion. Ooh, we have some hollows here. We have some hollows. Are these promos? I think I've seen these promos before. Yeah. Yeah, these are promos, so you can see the promo down there, but still good to have. Ooh, this one comes from World Championship because it had the signature there from somebody who won one of the World Championships, which is pretty cool. That's a cute looking Charmander. I haven't seen that one before. We got an Ivysaur. Ooh, I almost missed it. Our first Rayquaza we picked up in one of these collections. That looks really cool. Condition is pretty darn good on that one. Trash Burst. Some might say that I picked up a Trash Burst here in this video. <laughs> We have a nice Team Rocket's handiwork. I love the look of these old full art trainers. They look so, so cool. I like that one a lot. I do want to keep that one for my full art collection. Frostless, what are you doing in here? This is the Frostless that I believe is from the Radiant Collection. Yeah, Radiant Collection number eight, that's right. This is the OG Frostless that used to meme us when we were opening up Generations, I believe. Okay, Lucky Stadium, that's a cool card to see there. A Kakuna from Legendary Collection. All the Legendary Collection cards are really, really cool looking. That's pretty awesome. Not bad, not bad. What is this one here? This Meowth looks kind of different. Why is it gold bordered like that? Somebody tell me what's going on there. Is this from a subset of sorts? It's jungle, but why is it gold on the outside? Ooh, a Sneasel EX. Okay, we have a second EX card in here. That's pretty cool. Looks like we have some bonus cards back here as well. Pokemon Breeder, a Mulane. This is a, another full art trainer, which is kind of interesting that we don't see very often. And that would be it. Okay, well, we have gotten worse before, but we've also gotten way better too. Let me know what you think in the comment sections. Did we get back what we paid for? Which binder did you prefer? Number one, number two, or number three? And make sure to check out one of these videos as well so you can see other collections I've picked up. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Subscribe so you don't miss anything else. Cheers.